make sure that when you're working with your workspace, you are in the load and manage data view. And then the first step is going to be to create a new workspace. I'm just going to call my workspace workspace. I'm going to click OK. And now I need to develop a customized import routine to batch create projects so that I have a separate and individual project for each one of those tile sets. That's done by right clicking on the workspace and choosing customized import. If you ran a customized import process previously, that's going to be loaded automatically. And you can see that I have that customized import routine here. The root folder is simply the folder containing all of your data. So in this case, it's that folder called classify where I have my imagery intensity, NDSM tiles, and also my vector shape file. A master file is just a file that allows you to test your search string, such as you see here. And what this does is this indicates the value that's going to be returned for each project. So this search string here says look into the root folder. Any folders within that find a file called NAIP underscore dot IMG and it's returning this scene variable here. If you look here I've also gone into my image layers tab here and this is really the bulk of the customized import routine. I have a search string and I've defined aliases for all of my imagery tiles. You can see there the red, green, the blue, and the near infrared bands. I have a search string that goes into the intensity folder there and returns the intensity tile and one that goes into the normalized digital surface model folder and returns the normalized digital surface model raster. So with that specified, the last step is going to be to make sure that I also load in my shape file. In this case, I'm going to choose the geometry search string from file. I'm going to go in and grab that shape file and I'm going to give it an alias of hydrology. Aliases are very important in that they allow you to use rule sets developed for other projects or workspaces and apply them to a brand new project providing the alias names are consistent. So with those parameters specified, I can go ahead and save my customized import file. Always a good idea in case I need to recreate this workspace. And then I can click OK and run the customized import. Do note that the customized import routine can run for many minutes if you're working with extraordinarily large data sets. Once the customized import routine is complete, you'll see that eCognition has created a separate project for each one of those tile data sets. If I go in to one of those projects and go to modify, you'll notice that I have all of my image data sets specified with their alias names, and then also the corresponding thematic or vector data set. If I click OK here, I can go into that project, move over into the develop rule sets mode, and explore the data. Always a good idea to go into your image layer mixing and just confirm that all of your different raster data sets are there. And you can also go into your view settings where you can confirm that your vector data set came in successfully. I mentioned one of the tips for successful rule set development within eCognition is to work on very small subsets initially. So if I go in to modify that project, I can click on the subset selection dialog and I can choose to work with only a very small area. I can then double click on that project to open it up, move into the view, and begin to build my rule set. In this case, I'm going to load a very simple rule set I developed for this demonstration. 
This rule set does a few things. It does a little bit of image processing. I have a routine in here that deletes the image object level, allowing me to rerun the rule set over and over again. And then I have a series of processes to extract water, tall features such as buildings and trees, shorter features such as impervious areas and grass and shrubs, and then finally have an export routine. I'm not going to go into any detail on the land cover classification. As I mentioned, this is a very simple rule set, but I would like to cover the export routines here because these are very important if you're using the overlapping tile processing routines.